We got loads of time, bro. What do so we want to do? Nice. I don't know. I'm honestly. The world is ours, bro. We can go skiing, snowboarding, sledding. Oh, yeah. Hello and good morning everyone. I mean it is a good morning. It's a little bit of a sad morning because we are leaving Florida. Do you know what? I don't get sad to go home. I love being home. I do really enjoy being at home. I, I will say the, beach the best weather and warmest start was this <laughs> morning as we are leaving. You guys, it's supposed to get back into the 80s as we've been mostly like 60s, low 70s, but we made the most of it. We had a ton of fun. We got out there on the beach. We got out on jet skis. We hit the town with Jared and Britt. We went shopping. We did so many fun we things. We ate at so many fun restaurants. We had the very best time. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Happy New Year! We are sad to say goodbye, but we are excited to go back home. We have a full weekend to cover, unpack, get back into normal life, and the kids go back to school next week. Yeah, but I don't have a ton of laundry to do because our hotel room randomly had washers and dryers <laughs> in both rooms. I was looking for something one night. I started opening all of the doors, <laughs> and I opened one up, and I was like, there's a washer and a dryer in here. I did the very same thing. I went and bought laundry detergent yesterday, made the most of the day, just did random so laundry So the laundry is done. It's folded in, in suitcases, so when we get home, we just have to unpack it, put it away. Way. And it's actually a very reasonable hour when we get home. We can ah. comfortably get home, have dinner, get into bed at a good time. As much as that might not sound exciting to the kids as parents, it is a much needed rest and recovery from a action packed yes. vacation. It's always difficult to come home on a Sunday night and have school the next morning, especially when we've had a three week break. We're grateful that we planned it this way. Kind of turning out to be like perfect little wrap up to the trip. We will, however, miss Jared and Brittany. We had so much fun hanging out with them. You guys can see we are here at the airport right now. Yeah. We are about to get on our flight right now. It is again a two flight situation. We have a connecting flight in Atlanta and they told us as we checked what? in keep in mind This is a tight turnaround and Atlanta is a big airport So when you get off the plane make haste to get over to your other plane very quickly and It's not even in the same terminal which in Atlanta that involves a, a shuttle deal. ride or a run We will see as the day progresses how this goes But we are boarding our first flight right now two hour flight to Atlanta get off there run to our next plane and home to Salt Lake City So almost right. there saying goodbye to the sunny sunshine of Florida yeah. home to the snowy slopes of Utah Yeah, we're supposed to get a big storm this weekend Braxton, check out that super cool TV. Oh, Macintosh. <laughs> Braxton's well, saying this is the first no ever Macintosh. Nokia. <laughs> Bro, is it actually Nokia? Guys, if you swipe your credit card, you can actually watch movies right there. and welcome to Atlanta where the local time is 12.04. Please stay seated with your seatbelt fastened and your carry-on items stowed until the captain 
We were under the impression we were gonna have to make a run to the B Gates, but turns out we made it with plenty of time. Not only that, we were able to grab some Annie Ann's pretzels and along I got the way. To do a couple races in need of first Wait, you did? So, yeah. I didn't even get my Steam Deck to turn on. We'll tell you more about that when we get home, but it's time for our last leg of the flight getting on here in Atlanta. Let's go. Lady. Heading home to Salt Lake where we hear it might be snowing. Oh gosh. Guys, this is how much our guy loves his garbanzo. <laughs> so we got good. off on a gate that happened to be right next to it, so he I has to had grab to. it before we get our bag. Oh He's getting dinner my. in the airport today. Garbanzo, his favorite on the way out, but hey, makes a great snack on the way I'm back. I'm really sad you did that, because I was going to make cold cereal, so. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're missing out, bro. Hazy, guess what? They still have all the Christmas decorations here. When yeah. we left, we said they might be down. We're coming back, and it's like the first week of January, but look, yeah. all the ornaments are still in there. All of the Christmas things are around the gates right there. All the wreaths are still up. Yeah. They're still decorated for Christmas. Yeah. Brexy yeah. Doodle, not only are we back in Utah, we are back an hour early, bro. Yes, we literally sir. landed at 3.10 when we were estimated to arrive at 4. Yeah. So we were excited about getting in early, like as in early in the day. Then we get in an hour earlier than that. We got loads of time, bro. What do you so want to do? Nice. I don't know. I'm honestly... The world is ours, bro. We can go skiing, snowboarding, sledding. Oh, yeah. Guys, it's been a while since we've seen that. Our breath is easily visible, hopefully not easy to smell. But we are here in Utah, and it is currently somewhat snowing. I wouldn't call it like a lot of snow. Whoa, that is dope. See, we got cool cars in Utah. Anyway, snowing right now, it's kind of like a light, does not stick, proofy kind of stuff, but it is very cold, which is a warm welcome. <laughs> That's a weird pun. We are glad to be back. Very cloudy, dense clouds all around. You can't see the sky anywhere. Definitely significantly colder than where we've been. <sighs> right guys gonna load up the car. We are back. Mom actually turned it on from her phone before we got our bags, which is so cool that she can do that. Can you and see she... the smoke in the camera? It's not smoke, but yeah, well, you can see it. You can see your breath, yeah, the mist. Yeah, there you go, go. The steam, whatever you wanna call it. But we are coming home. One of us did not make it though. One of us is still on the plane right now. I'll be old righty, the right AirPod. It's on the plane, yeah, under the seats. The one that you lost. It's been lost. Oh, the lefty. Never mind, it's gone. One of my yeah. kids is hazy actually. She's the one on the plane. We left her. What? Oh, wait. <laughs> you guys sat down to edit and realized we never even told you the story of the missing air. So I will start by saying I never really love taking AirPods on the airplane. I do love the noise canceling. I think it's fantastic to help drown out some of the plane noise, especially I felt like this time we had an inordinate number of screaming babies on this plane. Which we've been there, so I'm grateful for the invention of noise canceling headphones. <laughs> but I've had many times one flip out of my ear, I go to pull my hood back, accidentally bump it. In fact, I've already lost one. In a very just absolutely impossible place for it to fall. It fell down underneath the window in a small opening in the plastic that went down into basically the side of the airplane. Absolutely impossible to get to unless you disassemble the airplane. So I've lost one that way before already. So this time, when one fell out of my ear and was not retrievable, the first thing all of the kids said was, again? <laughs> so that tells you, me, AirPods, and planes don't necessarily mix. I did get a new set of headphones for Christmas. You guys might have seen that. Got the exact same headphones that Ryler has, but they weren't pairing with my Steam Deck, so I had the AirPods as a backup. Well, guess what? Sure enough, this time, Ryler tapped me on the shoulder, went to ask me a question, took the AirPod out to hear his question, and must have just bumped something on the way out, flipped out of my hand, and fell down in between the seats. Normally, you could get down on the ground, look for it, dig in between things, but I will 
will show you the disgusting nether realms that it ended up in. This tiny little opening. Once again, a one in a billion chance to shoot this thing right down this tiny little hole that goes down between the seats where all of the wiring is housed from the seat all the way down. It's completely sealed off. You would have to come in, disassemble the seats, that middle section where the wiring is to get the AirPod. Because we got on our hands and knees, searched everywhere underneath the seats, even lifted up tops of the seats because as you know, they do come apart pretty easily. If you've ever pulled on the seat cushion of an airplane, it comes off pretty easy. Took both mine and crew's off. It undoubtedly fell in this tiny little disgusting crack that never gets cleaned apparently. We found all kinds of little goodies and gems down there, but we're not able to retrieve the AirPod. So here we are back at home, one AirPod and one AirPod only. And that's probably going to be how it remains because I don't see them ever locating that AirPod and getting it returned to me. So we did leave one of us on the airplane today and I cannot believe where that thing was lost twice now. I've lost AirPods in unimaginably tight, tiny spaces on an airplane. It's official. Kids are actually in bed, which is crazy early, but I think we're wearing them down after a very long, fun week in Florida. And mom just told me there's snow outside. It's there sticking. There is snow outside. We got a text message from Mana Joe. She says, I'm a little disappointed that you didn't bring back the sunshine. We get home and it snows. Oh, well, yeah, sorry. Yeah. But I'm kind of excited to see what that looks like. We have not had snow outside of our window really much at all. Yeah, not this year. Certainly I was going to say, year. we got our fill last year. This year? This year's four days old. Oh my gosh, you're so <laughs> we haven't even been here. Anyways, we're all loopy. We're all ready for bed. Ready we for are an amazing tired. weekend. We are ready for bed. Praying that we're not getting sick because I think we're just coming off of an exhausting, exhausting trip. It happens almost every time going on vacation, somebody comes home <clears> sick because we run it pretty hard, but also we just feel like it's going around pretty big oh time gosh. in the area. It's kind of hard to avoid, we're but we're hoping good. nobody gets it, we're most especially good. the kids. We want to be able to go back to school and not have to deal with that. We're also hoping that's not mom because she does everything. Kind of rooting for me. So we'll see. Come that's back, different guys. different from hell. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, but no, you guys, we got home and within 15 minutes, every single suitcase was emptied and put away. We Laundry's like got done, right to it. Folded, kids jumped in and helped out. It was fantastic. It was and everything is back. We did the laundry at the hotel. And because we cleaned the house before we left, came home to a spotless house. Christmas isn't up, so it part. seems super spacious. Tomorrow's gotta... gonna be the day to get stuff done. Oh, I was thinking a day to just kind of relax and enjoy each other's company. Okay. Well, that's how we're different. Love you guys. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for existing. There you go. Woo, woo, woo.